How you doing? I'm Steve. We're back with In Your Chest. And this is Horatio Horace Andrew. Uh, we're on number of video. Was it three? A three out of nine? Or four out of nine? Hey, you. I guess we're on number three out of nine. Yeah, three. Which is, Damn, for a 17 year old, I asked about this, but we're going to apply it to adults to the do's and don'ts of dating. I know you mentioned before uh, being. Courteous. Yeah, just being courteous, uh, you know, open up doors, you know, don't bring up, for no reason, bring up the, anything sexual, that's a big turn off, man, okay, you're a young buck, you know, you're just becoming a man. You look like a freak. Yeah, um, you have some nice lips, stop, don't do that shit, okay, <laughs> I mean, it might be true, but you don't, you just don't say that, you know. And what's your favorite, yeah, what's your favorite position? <laughs> yeah, don't say that. <laughs> okay, Steve was talking about how I take off his shirt and if it's raining, <laughs> cover the mud puddles. I was saying, don't do that shit early. Yeah, that shit uh, after dinner. You know what I'm that's, that's a that's a classic gentleman. Which is good. Take off, you your, 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 take off your jacket, your two piece suit. Yeah, but you want me to rent off this freezing your ass off. You know, and a uh, wife beater. Hopefully, it's a good one. No holes in it. You know what I mean? So, um, it'll be courteous. Don't bring up anything sexual. Be a gentleman. Open up doors because. Uh, you know, with a chair, unless you can sit down. And all. Women love that stuff, man. And you're training yourself also for future on reference, you know what I mean? You just want to, just always try to be a gentleman. Don't be a jerk, you know what I mean? What about precautions? Like, uh, maybe a, a public spot you guys can meet to start off with, uh, so you guys feel comfortable, you know? In uh, case the woman wants to exit the back door, you know, after her first view of you. Another thing. Hold on, that's not like a blind date shit. No, no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying if you are going to date, that's do, just, do, do some dating, just do an <laughs> active fool, okay? You want to act fool in public amongst other people. Listen, she'll find a way to get out of that situation. <laughs> don't, don't worry about her, though. She got it. She got it. A guy, a guy, you know what's funny? A guy sticking out, but a woman, they be like, man, yo, Julius. <laughs> yo, meet me at um, such and such. I'm Dairy. I'm going to be in the back of the bathroom. Let's go pick me up. I'm gonna tell him I'm going to the gas station real quick. Look for the red handkerchief hanging out the window. Hurry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we're not one to ask you. Another thing you do is be attentive, uh, be attentive to everything they're saying. Actually, yeah, actually listen. Yeah, yeah, good point. Listening, not just hearing, hearing them. them. Listen. Listening and remembering. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. What's your name again? Holy oh, shit. don't do, oh, yeah, don't do that shit, God damn. Yeah. Um, oh, young man. Young <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do that shit. Yeah, yeah, right. Also, the thing you can look out for is um. Don't say baby either. Baby. Or oh, are you so sexy? Oh, no, like, no, no, like nicknames. Yeah, no, no, no sexy. Are you so sexy? So fine. You know, you just call up our name. You know. And remember, the date's supposed to be fun. Yeah. 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 Don't don't be nervous. And don't don't feel antsy. Um, just relax and um. And don't kiss her. Not on the first time. She, I know, especially if, that, if she's aggressive, she might. No, you don't. They don't love, they, they appreciate yeah. and like it more. Yeah. So just, just, just tell me, man. Be a gentleman that first night. When girls want to kiss you, they'll kiss you. Yeah, but don't. Just be like, you know, is she is she wondering why you want to kiss him? Like, you know, I'm just. Your lips are dry. <laughs> <laughs> you like you liking chapstick. <laughs> okay. Uh, last thing was tell him, Don't tell me you had a cold sore. <laughs> Say it, dog. No. no. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, let's, let's be a gentleman. You know, and just, um, let's don't try to kiss her, man. Let's be a gentleman. Uh, don't rush or anything. Yeah. sexual. Uh, uh, they, give her, they give her the church hug. You know, don't try to be feeling up on it all yeah. that stuff. No, no. Hey, okay, so Steve got to demonstrate for you. you know. Oh, you, know, you, have, you have to stick the, you have to stick your, your, your middle up. The middle section now, yeah. no. pat in the back. Cause so you want to seem like you're not trying to make contact with your jewels on her, trying to. Uh, All right, it was a good night. So good. Yeah, yeah, just do like, do pull one of their, pull one of the things women do on you on them. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Oh, that make sure and walk her back to her car or her door. You have to do that. You have to walk her back. Those don't be like Can you sitting in the car, the engine room, looking at the window, and she get the door. All right, there. <laughs> don't do that shit. Actually, get out your get your lazy ass out of the car. Walk her back to her vehicle or back to the home. Okay. It's, 
And they, I'm sorry, I do that. And they shouldn't, they shouldn't invite themselves into. In oh yeah. Sleep. When you get to the door, don't invite you. Can I come in for? Oh, 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 you got it. You going to bed now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta go. Don't go by the door. It's better to get you. You know, and also like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm tired. Can, can I sit on your couch for a minute? Oh, jeez. Oh, can I use the bathroom? Oh, so yeah. She wants to go directly to the bushes. Yep. <laughs> She was drinking to the bushes, man. They know all that stuff, man. Yeah, so, man. Let's, let's be a gentleman, man. Now, and I'm not saying the next day, the next time I go out, no, you can just loosen up a little bit. And she gives that look in the eye, and you're at a certain distance. I say about 30 centimeters away, approximately. And she gives that look, and you know. What look that, is that? It's a, it's a look a woman give you. For some reason, it could be like black as hell outside, but there's a sparkle in the eye. I don't know where it comes from, dog. <laughs> yeah. It ain't like the sun shining that should have glistened on. <laughs> but they give you that, they give yeah. you that look, and it's like, it's like, it's like the pupils like dilate or something. They like, dilate, and get it, like a little water spot. It, yeah, it moistens. It's like, wow. That's where the glare comes from. That's why. That's how they got terminology sparkle in the eye. For some reason, when doing their. Um, there's a scientific thing for that. I, I, I mean, I, I, I researched it in there. Oh, you did. Yeah. yeah I thought for some was... reason, I forgot the name of the. The part of the body that causes right. eyes to get watery. I mean, I yeah, it gets watery, but not in the way it looks like they're about to tear. Yeah, it's weird. It's, it's like it a, moistens. It moistens right the, in the center. The, yeah, the eyeball moistens and then reflecting up whatever lighting in the in the area. That's where you get the, the glare from. Is that like a man color? What is that? It's probably probably part of part of our our um, sexual demeanor to with the other people. Who well, and like all women have that shit. I yeah. say that all a lot of times. It's it a certain look. It's like it can be in the angle, but it's just dead set all the time. It's, Come get this nigga. You know, you know, you know, you know, and if you fail to follow through with that, you might have blown your chance. And they claim that they only get. I, they claim that um, we sometimes we miss that, they miss the call. I hear girls say that we always yeah. miss the sound. So many of they're kind of nervous and not really sure and not used to that. You know that they don't. Yeah, they yeah. miss the call and then it's, it's over. Take me home. You know what I'm <laughs> you know? <laughs> This day is over. Well, it shouldn't be a guessing game, man. Let's just keep this Let's 100. Keep, yeah. Let's keep it 100 percent, man. I, think, I, I wish girls would practice that more, man. Yeah. And um, guys, I already told you already. Be upfront about everything, you know. Upfront about your multiple partners. Your your yeah. Multiple partners, man. Be a, though. What? Yeah. We we live by being honest. I understand. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't tell me you understand. We are blunt and honest about everything with our mates. I'm just asking okay. you, like, when you say multiple partners, you talking about multiple dating partners? No, I'm saying like, like, hey, listen, you know, you were pretty good. I like you a lot. I don't know what's going, but I, I'm dating this person. Oh, okay, that's the, okay, I understand that. Okay. So, you know? No, the way you said partners, it sound like. No, no, I'm, I'm not talking about okay. the industry, man. I'm not talking about the okay. porn industry or nothing. Man. I'm talking about just like <laughs> everyday relation dates, man. That's all, man. Hey, anything about it? That's true. You're correct. You know, be honest, because for some reason. Women get turned on by that shit. Women get the truth is sexy, you know. That's, oh, that's the women love it. I put on the Facebook. You deny it. Yeah, women. Women love the truth, man. It's like it's, it's like a uncontested kind of competition type thing. I just you know put that I mean? on Facebook. To be honest, the, you truth, know? the truth is sexy, and for the, for the new year, playing ball. Uh, Play ball. <laughs> for the new year, the new attractive look is being honest. Be honest, man. Yeah, it works. Um, another thing too, hiding. Um, don't hide your, your feelings. You know? I'm saying like at the end of the night. This no, is like, it's too early. Steve. No, no, listen, you not you cut me off, kid. Let me I'm sorry, right. dog. Explain. But I mean hide it. If you had a good time on a date or you enjoy this person company, let them know at the end of the night, you know I had a good time. I look forward to seeing you on a second date. Oh, okay, okay, you know? okay, I'm sorry. Uh, girls, yeah, a lot of girls sometimes don't do that. And um, and guys, you can't force that. In other words, you can't. Don't ask oh, the girl. Yeah. Don't ask the girl. Um, um, I know exactly like, hey, you know, did you have a good time? Or you want to go on? I sometimes they'll let you know that they had. A, they'll let you know they had a great time. Yes, they will. And then when can they see you again? But then other girls are a little bougie about it because right. they have a lot of guys that come to them. So yeah. it's our duty to. Um, Initiate and always beg them, which I, I don't even do that. I cut them off. That's that's I don't mess with those kinds. Oh, you could, you <laughs> just, oh. Or you could just say, uh, you know, hopefully we can see each other again. Yeah, you, you, thought, you leave it up in the air. Then. Yeah, yeah. You know, hopefully we can see each other again. Yeah. Um, I man, I got so much more to go. Uh, I'm gonna have to wrap it up. Okay. Uh, Steve, in your chest, and this is Horace, and we're out. Block attack. <laughs>